Proverbs chapter 22 and verse 3. A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. Kahalah. Yahweh Bashu, Yahweh Bashu, Kakadash. This is Prophets in Babylon, Tampa Bay, Florida. Double honors to the teachers and the head apostles of the great millstone of goodwill. Peace and salutations to the Akim on pushing out this word with you in sincerity. Also, brought out to the, to the Aguafim who are listening as well. All right, so we just want to do this quick hit. You know what I'm saying? The prudence foresee of the evil, man. All right? The prudent foresee of the evil while everyone else is complacent within this society. You know, uh, you know, me and one of the brothers watched a, cl- uh, a camp uh, of uh, GMS Mississippi, and, uh, and, the, and the brother quoted that uh, most of these women and the majority of these men, you know, are very complacent. They're very weak because they are in the perimeters of power, which is of this society. You know, like they're able to do the things that they want and they're careless. All right. Sooner or later, that power is going to be. Uh, you know, destroyed. You know, so right now everyone is careless. Like, they don't really care about the, uh, the serious things that's happening right now, like serious events. You know, what I'm saying, and, you know, a few people are aware of these things, like these uh, these internet food preppers, right? You know, right. and all these people who are aware of these uh, wars and the pestilence and all these events that's about to come to America. But the majority of these people, man, you know, mainly like mainly the women. Are, are careless within this society, but sooner or later, that perimeter of power is going to be bombarded. You know, when the, uh, when the society uh, depletes and like uh, and the inflation continues to goes up, you know what I'm saying? And then the ho- and, and, and then this place will become lawless. Right. And then, uh-huh. if, uh, so, like, if I may add, like the brother was saying, you know, you have these people over here in Babylon. Y'all have gotten, you know, they have gotten very, very complacent. And when you have that complacent spirit, you then tend to, you, you're at a comfortable level of what it is. And everybody here has gotten so comfortable with living in Babylon to a point where the things that's going on around them, they don't even pay attention to it. They don't even know what it is. All right. They're they seeing, you know, we're hearing of the uproars, okay, the pestilence, the famines, the uh, rumors of wars, all right, earthquakes in diverse places, like the scriptures say, that the people can discern. The, uh, the moon, the stars in the moon, but they can't discern the times we're in. That's why, because you're in that complacent spirit. You see? Go ahead. Come on, actually, I got a precept on what the brother was talking about, people being in a careless mindset, all mm-hmm. right? This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 32 and verse nine. Rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. Many days and years shall ye be troubled. Ye careless women, for the vintage shall fail, the gathering shall not come. Right. So, you know, that's the mind state that these women are in, you know, and it, it, it's talking about women a lot, you know, in this, you know, paragraph, we're talking about, you know, careless daughters, all right? It says to give ear unto my speech. So all the rebellious people, you know, that's not listening to the words of the Heavenly Father, you know, you're going to be caught off off guard in the times we're coming in, man. Mm-hmm. You know, all the troubles that the, the other brother just brought out, you know, of the pestilence, the wars, the rumors of wars, you know, the uproars of the people, all these times, the times that we're coming in, we're at the beginning of the end, you know, and the end is being made manifest every single day. Mm-hmm. So as it's getting worse and worse, the evils are growing and becoming worse, man, you know, and Jacob's trouble, you know, these people are going to be in a rude awakening. They're going to be caught in the middle of Jacob's trouble, man, you know, yeah, because they don't know what time we're in, man. When you get caught up, you know, when it's like all hell breaking loose and there's no, you know, comfort at all, the stores are closed, there's no more jobs and work, all right, because the men created this society for you women to be careless, man, yeah. all right? And now that, you know, now the men, you know, are being effeminate, all right, and they're not able to uphold this, you know, this, uh, this system no more, you know, this system is going to fall, man. Because the two thirds of our people are the ones that are keeping this system running, man. Because they want to follow behind who? Esau, Edom. Yep. All right. You know, as we are doing, you know, things working just to what? To just stay alive, basically, to do the will of the Heavenly Father. That's what we're here for. You know, the one third, you know, which is the ones that believe on this word and take heed. You know, we're going to be doing things that's pleasing to the Heavenly Father, but we're just here for a moment, man. We're ready to enter into the kingdom. So that's why we prophesy the downfall of this place. While all the other people that are joining on, 
to this place, they're gonna be thrust through, you know, by <laughs> all the, the the all the destruction that's coming to this place, man. That's right. You know, that's but right. I want to continue with verse eleven, Go real ahead. quick. It says, "Tremble, ye care, so like it tremble, ye women that are at ease, be troubled, ye careless ones, mm -hmm. strip you and make you bare mm -hmm. and gird sackcloth upon your loins." Mm -hmm. You know, in the ancient times, that you know, when you do those things, that's in a morning state. So in the times we're coming in, you women are going to be in a morning state. How much more you men that follow after the women, man? You know, you're lower than a woman, man. You know. Women rule over us, you know, in this society. But the ones in this truth, you know, we understand the order. Okay, so we follow behind Yahweh Shah, you know, because Yahweh Shah is the way, the truth, and the life. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, you know, we understand we're over the women. But you men that's not in this truth, y'all under the women. That's why y'all be complaining about trying to have these women, you know, uh, you know, get right and in the order. But the women will get in the order when the men get in the order. Right. And the only men that's in order is the ones that's fallen behind the law, such as the commandments mm -hmm. of the Heavenly Father, man. That's right. So as the morning state, that's what we're seeing now being made manifest. You can look on the people's countenance, man. Mm -hmm. When you go out in the stores, when you go work, mm -hmm. these people are in sorrows, man. It's the beginning of sorrows. That's so right. we see it, you know. Come on, man. Come. Right. You got a piece up? Go ahead. <clears throat> this, Mike, this is the book of Micah 2 and 10. Mm -hmm. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you even with a sore destruction. Right. It said, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. And how are you going to arise and depart from this place? That don't mean pack up all your <clears throat> excuse me. That don't mean pack up all your shit, get on the nearest train or the or the next flight out and be gone. That means you gotta leave this place mentally, man. Scripture tells you flee out of the midst of Babylon. How do you flee out of the midst of Babylon? Do or be done away with her iniquity. Be done away with her transgressions. Be done away with this complacent ass hell. Uh, uh, in captivity that we are living in, man. You see, Jake gets so Jake has got so complacent. Just a quick testimony: I had to go do a couple hours or so for for for, for work or whatever. And uh, the lady in there, the Jake lady in there, she's so complacent to a point that she feels good saying that she don't care what the Lord looks like. All she knows is, is that the Lord died for her sins. And that goes to show you exactly what the brother was just bringing out. Arise, you women that are at ease. You women over here are at ease, man. This place is, what it said, it went on to say what? It is polluted and it will destroy you with a sore uh, destruction. How's this place polluted, man? Every time you turn around, it's some abomination of shit going on. Sodomites left and right, all right? You have Sleazy E with this, with these uh, unright unrighteous decrees. You have Eve out here doing whatever, being harlots. Okay, scripture say that there shall be no harlots amongst uh, the daughters of, uh, of Zion and no sodomites amongst the sons of, uh, of Israel. But that's completely different here, man. Why? Because e, Sleazy E has allowed all of these people here to be complacent and let them be however they want to be, man. They got this whole, you know, God loves you, come as you are type spirit. Nah, man, that shit gonna get you fucking destroyed, man. You see? Go Somebody got another priest up? You get in and on, on. The high time to wake up to sleep. We got to know what time we're in, man. You know? And all you people that's in a careless mind state, all you people that are very comfortable in this society, all right, you're going to see this place fall and you're not going to be able to stand in the times that we're coming in, man. <coughs> um, all right, this is the book of Romans, <clears throat> chapter 13 and verse 11. And the reason it says, and that, knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. Um, for now is um, our. Go ahead. And it says, knowing the time. And it says, mm -hmm. measure out the time diligently in itself. So the mm -hmm. only one that's going to know the time is the prudent man. That right. foresee of the evils. Because this is the beginning of the end. So in the end times that we're in, it's full of evil. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And I'm bringing back from the top. This is Romans 13 and 11. It says, and that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than we believe. Come on, man. So we're seeing, you know, the building stage of the end. Okay. And when the end is near, that means salvation is coming, okay? Right. And it's coming for a few, man, because the world, this world was created for many, but the world to come for a few. And we're hoping to be part of that number, man. And the number will be the ones that awoke, you know, they're awoke with this truth, all right? They're awake, you know, they're quickened by the spirit. And that's that's this word that was preached, you know, to you by men that Yahweh Shem Yashat set up, man. So if you're able to receive this word, you know, bless your ears that they can hear, man. Bless your ears, man. The most I bless you with that. And then your eyes to see, man, seeing the times. That, that's a blessing, all right? So we should cherish what we have, you know, and continue in this doctrine, okay? Till right. the end. He that endures to the end, the same shall be saved. 
So, you know, better is the end of a thing in the beginning there. So we're at the beginning. You know, we're going to see it get worse every single day, man. We just hope Yahweh yeah, Shrasha be with us, you know. So with that, Yahweh yeah, Rizal, this was edifying. Call her law. Yahweh Shrasha. Until next time we say Shalom. DTA, Abad, Abad, soon.